So I go to Taco Bell today and I place an order for dining in and I use their public restroom and there's no hand soap. So I report back to the guy at the front counter who's taking the fast food orders and let him know that there's no hand soap in the dispenser and I need to wash my hands. Uh, so he goes and looks for soap uh, and comes back to me and says, oh, we don't have any more, which I find that hard to believe because that's a big, you know, fast food restaurant. Uh, why would they not have soap for their customers? So uh, then I asked him if he had any hand sanitizer, and he said that there was hand sanitizer, but it was like a dispenser that was attached to the wall, and that was in a restricted area for the employees only. So I wasn't allowed back there, but it seems like he still could have gotten a lead or a cup and squeezed some of the hand sanitizer, you know, out into the cup, and he still could have given, you know, me some of the hand sanitizer. Um, so then I eventually asked, you know, can I just use the women's room to wash my hands? And uh, they let me do that, which I shouldn't have had to go through all that trouble. Um, and I mean, don't get me wrong, like I am a clean person and I do trust my own germs, but it, most of us would like to wash our hands before we enjoy a nice dinner, you know. Um, I, I just really shouldn't have had to go through all of that. And it also brings up the next question is, if they don't have soap for the customers, then how are the employees washing their hands when they're supposed to, you know, when it's supposed to be mandatory for them to wash their hands before they report back to work? So that's a health violation right there, health code violation. Uh, they could get into trouble for that. Um, like, what's next? Are they going to run out of toilet paper? I guess we're all going to have to start looking to see if there's toilet paper before we squat.